Hi, I'm Christine Cushing, and welcome to another helping of my favorite foods. Today we're going on a technique journey. I want to show you how to make the perfect French omelet. How hard can it be? First thing, I want to get my mise en place mep ready. I'm adding a little chives. Why do I want you to conquer the omelet? Because it is a freaking hard thing to do. It instills fear in chefs far and wide. If you can make an omelet, you're probably going to be a great cook. I want to add a little cheese, so I'm going with a Swiss Gruyere for our omelet. It's going to be good. When I was in culinary school, the chef would stand around and we'd have to make omelets and crepes. And you'd have to make your omelet with him freaking out and everybody laughing at you. Now it's all about the eggs, right? I like to use, of course, a great quality egg because that's what the French would do. Three eggs to me makes the perfect omelet in about an eight inch pan or 20 centimeters. Let's talk a little bit about the frying pan because there's so much controversy about the omelet. You know there is. For me, the best size omelet pan is eight inches, which is about 20 centimeters. That's for a three egg omelet. It's really important to have the right size pan because that means the omelet's gonna be thick enough, not too thin, just right. The big thing here is this is not a, a non-stick pan. I am a daredevil in that regard. Originally in France, needless to say, you didn't have a non-stick pan, so they were using carbon steel. Carbon steel gets hot like crazy. It's a great conductor and it doesn't stick. And they could just blast the heat. The challenge with the nonstick is you can't really get it at high heat. So what I'm gonna show you is a bit of the classic method with just my adaptations. You also notice that I'm not using a whisk. Put away the whisk, do not ever use a whisk to whisk your eggs for an omelet. You don't want to mount air into it, you just want to blend the eggs. Another controversial point, the salt. Watch me, I do add salt to my eggs. Not too much. When you add salt, it actually breaks the egg down a little bit, it softens it. I find it makes a way better omelet. Now, I think every chef agrees to make a great omelet, you don't add any cream or milk. Magic ingredient, a little H2O. Eggs are ready. Let's get the heat on. Other important thing, the temperature of your pan. Here, Pan is empty, you've got to have a pan that's in super pristine condition. If not, you have to go with a nonstick pan because this you're going to really be sending me bad vibes when you try to make this and it sticks. Empty pan, nice and seasoned, no pot marks, no nothing. It's a beautiful pan. High heat, and this is key, the French will always use butter. Eggs and butter when making an omelette. The challenge with butter is because of those milk solids, it can tend to stick a little bit. I like using clarified butter if I can, but here I'm just gonna go with this butter. Put my hand over top. Is it hot enough? No. So I would say probably 30 to 40 seconds on high heat, probably the bigger element that you have. And the difference with what I do is, I actually just swirl the pan. There's gonna be no fussing with it too much. You'll see what I'm talking about. This is about a teaspoon, five mils of butter. Only when it stops foaming, that's when I'm gonna add the eggs. A little bit noisette or brown now. Stopped foaming, eggs going in. I need my right hand free. Vigorously shaking at this point. No matter what happens, phone rings, world coming to an end, I do not let go of this omelet, I keep going. Now I'm gonna add my chives, if you wanna add them, a little bit of cheese in the center, I'm going with Gruyere, and then 
I do what's called the, the fry pan grip with my left hand. I grip it like that. And I want to bring this all the way down to the bottom. And I just want to roll it. Inside, it's still soft, what's called baveuse. Let me cut into it and show you what you want. The cheese is just starting to melt, and this has to be served right away. That's the way a classic French omelet is supposed to be. A little bit soupy in the center, it's called baveuse. Soft, it shouldn't be dry, and just that little bit of cheese until it melts is the perfect omelet. All right, let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Right away I taste the butter because the butter and eggs are a perfect match. That little bit of Gruyere is great. Simplicity, that's what the French are known for. There's something so satisfying about perfecting eggs. When you perfect the omelet, you feel like you've conquered something. You gotta try it. I'm Christine Cushing, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for joining me on another helping of my favorite foods.